Hello guys, in this video I will build a budget racer. The aim was to build something under $160, something which I will be able to race with uh, on our racetrack. So I already pre-built the frame, here we've got all the parts and I will build it now. Let's open all the components. So here we've got the components and I will tell you little about it, why did I choose that. So the frame was $24, um, I bought it because of the design, I like the HD mount for camera, also for this price there is not much to choose from, so this was choice for me and I think the frame is pretty nice for this price. The camera, it was $22, it's something between the high-end cameras from Rankem and Foxeer, which are $40 and then something the cheapest, which is $10, so this is between them and I hope the quality of the image will be good. The antenna is Relac, it was $7, I think this is good choice for any VTX. The motors, they are 2206 size and 2700 kV. I think these got enough power for racing, so our setup should be really fast. I also like the design and I've heard good things about these, these motors. And they are really cheap, they were $40 for 4 motors, so that's great price for budget racer. The regulator. Uh, it's 4 in 1 and 35 amperes, it's from Relac. Uh, this is for me the weakest point of this build, but it was only $26 and I had to fit into the budget and this was the only way to fit there, so I hope it will work as it should. And the last component is flight controller with integrated VTX. This is something new for me, so I will test it and I hope it will behave good. We've discussed everything and let's build. I always start with mounting the motors on the frame, so I already did that. And now I will place the ESC on the standoffs, the nylon standoffs. And now I will cut the wires to the exact length. Clean the ends of the wires. And solder them to the regulator. The motors are there, it doesn't matter where which wire goes because you can change the direction of the motors later in BL Heli. Now I will use uh, some tape to hide the wires so the build will look much more cleaner. I've prepared the XT60 connector for the battery, the right length could be something like this so easily cut the wires and solder them directly to the ESC the ESC is there and now we will mount the flight controller there is an arrow which tells you where is the front of the flight controller and we need to plug in the signal cables from ESC and it will sit on the top like this. I would like to test it so I will plug in the battery and there is a VTX so I will plug in the antenna because you have to have antenna on the VTX every time you 
uh, power it on because otherwise you can fry your VTX. And everything seems perfect. Let's mount the camera, it's easy. There is a plug in the package with camera, so just plug it in. And the same thing is with the flight controller, so plug in the cables. And now I have to solder these together, black to black, red to red and yellow to green. I'm also using this heat shrink tube to isolate the cables. So you just cut the right length and then you will uh, hot it with the lighter and it will shrink on the cable. And that's it about the build. It was really easy, it took me like 30 minutes in total. Uh, all I have to do now is to solder the receiver for my radio. I use Taranis, so it is first guy, I will use XM Plus and then we will configure it in the beta flight. The video works, everything seems perfect, the build is super clean, so, so far I really like it. Let's check the weight. It's 262 grams, which isn't bad at all. So now I will connect it to computer and we will do basic configuration. Flight with this custom build, so we will see how it goes. Okay, everything seems good, nothing vibrates, so that's a good sign. The rates are pretty high, so I will definitely decrease them and now we will try FPV. signal looks pretty good no interference here and about the cheap camera for me it's pretty weird field of view but it's usable and about the quadcopter as I told you the rates are pretty high so I will definitely lower them but it seems pretty accurate and it handles great and the speed is not bad at all I would definitely need to get used to this camera but the quadcopter itself seems pretty nice it's easy to control and it really doesn't miss any speed it's it's quick enough so let me uh, decrease the rate and i will stick my session 5 to show you some hd footage
That was my flying with this custom build. As you've seen, it has got enough power, so the extra weight of the GoPro is no problem. Uh, for me, it's pretty agile and uh, fast enough to race with it, but the problem I got with this uh, model is the camera, because I think this is 16 to 9 and my goggles are 4 to 3, so I got problem to hit the gates. Uh, but you can easily solve it with another camera. This one got pretty good uh, image quality, but as I've told you, 16 to 9 is hard to see in 4 to 3 goggles. Uh, the flight controller with VTX, there is no problem with the signal, so I don't see a reason to not use this flight controller. Also, I had, haven't noticed problem with ESCs, so good enough for this price. The frame, I pretty like the idea of these spacers. They make the frame pretty durable, so the arms are not moving. And it also protects the camera, because as you see, it's not hidden in frame, so this protects it from front impact, that's good. Also, the HD mount nothing nothing bad so for me this build is pretty nice for the money you can build it easily for under 160 dollars each of the item i used is in the description of this video thanks for watching don't be afraid to build it as you've seen it's really easy to build you can do it in 30 minutes thanks for watching if you would like to see more reviews please subscribe to my channel and see you next time